In order to talk about this Blackpink situation, I'm going to need help from Malaysian viewers out there and those who speak Mandarin. But first, let's catch everyone up to speed. This rapper decided to release a song called You Know Who Is My Father or You Know Who Is My Father? Anyway, apparently, this guy is someone who is known to be very controversial. I don't know because this is the first I've heard of him. I don't even know who you are. The reason we're talking about him is because in his song, there is a line wrapped in Mandarin that goes, always look at Blackpink and I don't think YouTube will let me say the rest because it has since been blurred. Although you can still hear the line. Fans soon discovered the vulgar reference to the girls and voiced how disgusting it was, sexualizing Blackpink, calling for YG to do something and for others to report the video. In response to this, the rapper pinned a comment thanking Blinks for the views, taunting with how you like that. Then shortly after, released a lyric video for the song. Now, with the lyric video was a Facebook post saying, the fans who have been spamming and attacking him don't even understand the song or what he's trying to say. As he compares, just like they get hyped even though they don't understand their favorite Korean songs. He then ended the post with something that I probably can't say on here again. But if you go through the comments of his videos, it seems like there are some people, I'm guessing mostly his fans, saying the song and line is being misunderstood or taken out of context. So that's why I ask, for those who do truly understand the song, is that the case? Or is it simply a disgusting line sexualizing Blackpink for the sake of attention, clout, and living up to his controversial reputation? And if so, that was a mistake. While this was going on, we coincidentally had another situation slightly in the same vein, involving Red Velvet and Vix's Ravi. See, Ravi just released his EP, and one of the songs on there featuring Jamie was called Red Velvet. Going into the release of his EP, Ravi said in an interview that the song Red Velvet was not about the girl group. It was about the cake. However, since it was called Red Velvet, he thought he might as well add some lighthearted, fun references to Red Velvet songs like Dum Dum or Rush and roulette into the lyrics. The lyrics also included the words Su Young, Joy's real name. and Yeri, not referencing the members directly, but a possible play on words or double meaning. The problem and backlash comes from the fact that these references and possible play on words with the members' names are included in a song that also has the lyrics, turn around and show me your back, and you and I should be in the same room by ourselves. A lot of people were not happy about Red Velvet being included in a very sexually suggestive song, especially when in that previously mentioned interview, he said he didn't know the Red Velvet members personally. However, many thought that answer was weird and brought up the several times he's worked with Yeri and appeared on a show with Joy. Though others have argued, that doesn't mean he knows them on a personal level. You also had people who didn't think those lyrics or the song was very sexual at all. Regardless, Robbie has now released an official statement apologizing to the members of Red Velvet. He even said he delivered a personal apology to them and also apologized to his fans and anyone who he made uncomfortable. Ravi then said he came to an agreement with the music distributor to delete this track from all platforms. There are a lot of different opinions on this, so let me know yours. I was not expecting him to take it off of all platforms. I don't know what I was expecting actually, maybe a band or something. Which, by the way, did you guys see that Espa's next level was unofficially banned? It's probably not what you think. Apparently, it's near the period for students to take the national college entrance exams. Super important because those who fail will have to wait another year. Year. So I guess it was strongly recommended for students not to listen to next level because it's way too catchy. It's crazy because 12 years ago, Shiny's Ring Ding Dong, oh my god, has it been that long? Was the first song on this unofficial, too catchy, too good for you to study while listening to list. Actually, if you think about it, it's kind of cool that right as Taemin goes off to the military, he passes the baton to Espa. Next level. <laughs> Next level.